today we will be learning two types of Disney pretzels you can make at home. Today we will be creating the German Pavilion pretzel, which surprisingly is no different than any of the other park's pretzels. Before you use my recipe, let's take a look at what's out there on the internet right now. Now, this first recipe will come from the Disney food blog. We will start by dissolving 3 teaspoons of dry active yeast into 1.5 cups of 95 to 100 degree water before whisking and adding in 1 teaspoon of sugar, then adding 2 cups of all-purpose flour to a stand mixer before adding in 1 teaspoon of salt. Next, we will allow flour mixture to churn before adding in our yeasty mud. Allow to mix while we add in yet another 2 cups of flour little by little. Place into oiled bowl and allow to proof for 20 minutes before removing and cutting into 10 <coughs> spheres. Placing plastic wrap over them and allowing them to sit for 10 minutes. Then, when the 10 minutes is over, roll into 10 to 13 inch worms, tie into pretzel knots, crack two eggs, whisk, brush pretzels, and place into 400 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. And BOOM! Thanks AJ! Place on a cooling rack and allow to sit for 5 minutes. I will say this is not a bad recipe to use in the kitchen for small kids and to have a fun evening of creating something together. However, this recipe does not necessarily cut the mustard when it comes to color, texture, and flavor. These are basically tied breadsticks. Alright guys, I'm going to go a little breaking bad on you. I literally could not find lye or sodium hydroxide anywhere, which is what gives pretzels their brown color due to the high alkalinity. But we can create our own alkaline bath with baking soda. So start by spreading a half cup of baking soda on a lined parchment paper baking sheet before placing in a 200 degree oven for one hour. We will be altering DFB's recipe slightly with two tablespoons of brown sugar and three teaspoons of yeast, mixing in 100 degree water until completely dissolved and setting aside while sifting two cups of all-purpose flour into a stand mixer and adding one cup of flour as it mixes and reaches its elastic form. Then placing on a floured surface and kneading until you have something that looks like this, placing in an oiled bowl allowing it to sit for 30 minutes, play around with your handy dandy tactical knife, removed baked baking soda from the oven and using gloves carefully placed into storage container. Then we are going to deflate our dough before adding to our work surface, cut and organizing into four balls, covering with plastic wrap and allowing to proof for 10 minutes. When 10 minutes are complete, we will roll out our dough into four strings, still can't come up with a good name for it yet, whether it's worm strings. Anyway, form into pretzel bow knots and then add to simmering pot of four cups of your water and a half cup of our baked baking soda. Allow pretzels to sit for 30 seconds on both sides before removing, placing on a baking sheet, adding egg wash and coarse salt, then adding to a 450 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes until they look like this, then adding melted butter. And there you have it guys. I will say that the baking soda is a far more safer alternative to lye and the visual and flavored results were amazing. So uh, please like, subscribe, and give me some feedback on how yours turned out. And until next time, cheers.